As we get the early results in, we're also getting a better idea on voter turnout. Let's talk about this in depth with our political analyst, Wendy Patrick, who we invited to get up early with us. Hi, good morning, Wendy. Hey, good morning, Virginia. It's always a pleasure. Yeah, always so good to see you. So uh, in terms of the registrar voters expecting 30 to 40 percent turnout by the time this all shakes out, how does that compare to what you expected this year? Well, unfortunately, it's consistent with what I expected this year, but inconsistent with prior years, Virginia. I mean, we've seen far higher voter turnout, usually when there's a dramatic contested race at the top of the ticket. And that's what probably accounts for lower turnout this year. I mean, had the recall election been the primary, remember all the colorful cast of candidates we, we talked about last year, uh, when Governor Newsom was being recalled, you know, thinking that that might have been successful drove many people to the polls that would have then voted in all of these other races. Because that turned out not to pan out and we didn't have a contested race at the very top, we really saw a lot less voter turnout, Virginia, than we would have liked. Yeah, I mean, you really need hotly contested races or some high profile races um, to help draw people out. Now, we've talked to the Registrar of Voters, Wendy, and, you know, they're pushing to get rid of the idea of voting on a single day. Even though we voted over weeks this year, people still think of it as this one election day. They're trying to get more San Diegans to vote early. So just how difficult or easy do you think that will be here in San Diego County? Well, we saw a little bit of that experiment this time around, because remember, they did have that option. Not only did they have the option of going out and voting early, but they had 13 hours yesterday, Virginia, that they could have gone to the polls if they procrastinated like many people do. You know, the reality when you talk about primary elections, unless they're super exciting and there's lots of issues on the ballot in terms of propositions or this types of this type of thing, you just don't see as high voter turnout as we would like. You know, I often say say if we were to put issues on the ballot, homelessness, crime, health care costs, gas prices, we would probably see everybody go out and vote. So what we're no doubt going to see between now and November is people educating themselves on what candidates stand for what and who is going to have the best plan at getting some of these things accomplished. Nobody's running on a platform of higher prices at the pump. But how are different candidates going to actually lower prices of gas? These are the kinds of things that people are going to be looking at now because we're all feeling the crush together. But how are different candidates planning to solve it? That's what's going to be on the general election ballot. All right. Well, we see, we'll see what happens in November. Hopefully more people will turn out, which they typically do, but we'll see. Wendy Patrick, political analyst, thank you so much. We appreciate your insights. Thanks, Virginia.